All right, what's up guys? Steven Smith here, bringing you another guitar video. Today we're gonna do a little tutorial. I'm gonna go over some fingerstyle basics that anybody who plays fingerstyle should definitely master. Um, so these are three of my top favorite techniques that I use. So let's get right into it. First things first, you wanna be really good at using your hammer-ons and your pull-offs. So that's over here on the left side, right on the neck. Like that, pulling, hammering on without using anything from the right. And then the same thing goes doing a good pull off. Okay, so we have our hammer on and then our pull off. That's super useful in all sorts of things. Like uh, classical gas, here we have a pull off right away. See it's used all over the place. We got hammer-ons over here in the left roll. Hit the road jack. Hammer-ons all over the place. So to get really good with hammer-ons, you just want to start with your open E string and then hammer-on with your first finger right on the top. And then from there, you want to add your ring finger. It's a great exercise. One on and then on. So you're gonna pluck once, hammer on with the left, and you pluck again, and then hammer on again. And eventually you want to be able to do both of them together. So then we have one, two, three. All on the left side. Good, and then once you got your hammer-ons, then we're gonna try with our pull-offs. So we'll do the same thing, but the other way around. So we start with our third finger on, and then we pull it off to make that pull-off sound. So my right hand is doing nothing there. Okay, so we have one, and then we're gonna pluck again, and pull off our last finger. So from up here, we have one, pull off, two, off. And now the same thing as before, once we get good at that, then we're gonna come one, two, three. <coughs> Just like that. All right, so for our hammer on we have, and then pull off. So that's a great exercise you can try. Try it just like this. Doing a little pluck in between so that you can restart it. And then once you get good at that, try it on each string. Now it's not gonna sound great on all of them because that's just how the theory works on the guitar strings, but it's a great exercise anyway. So I highly recommend doing that. <coughs> all right, so that's it for our hammer-ons and pull-offs. Work on those at your own pace. Um, make sure you take your time and get the proper technique. You wanna be hammering on right into the middle of the fret, or actually near the bottom of the fret. And then they pull off. Carefully you don't pull off and hit the string below. So you wanna be nice and clean without hitting the bottom one. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do a right hand move. Now I'm wearing a thumb pick. You don't have to wear a thumb pick, but I like to wear a thumb pick, so I'm going to wear a thumb pick. <laughs> <coughs> All right, this is Travis picking. So what you're gonna do is we'll just use a simple C chord. You're gonna pluck the bass. Actually, let's use a G. We're gonna use a G chord. We're gonna have the low E and the high E. We're gonna play both of them together. I'll show you without the thumb pick. So both of them together, and then you're gonna come into the middle. So we have fourth string, third string, bass, fifth string, or uh, second string, and then fourth string. So again here. Okay, let's do it one more time. So we have our bass, four, 
six, two, four. Okay, let's do it again, nice and slow. <coughs> Good. So that's our Travis picking, we're gonna work on that. And you can also do it with the C chord. Now on our C chord, our bass notes are gonna be lower. So we have the fifth string, or um, yeah, the fifth string, the fifth string and the second string, and then we plug in between. All right, now my last tip for fingerstyle guitar is that if you wanna make that full band sound, you really need to be holding that bass throughout the whole thing. So for example, we have uh, just this basic song that you can learn and we come in. So that's kind of how it sounds if you don't do it with the bass. And now let's hear it with the bass because we're gonna hold the whole time. So you can notice a good difference there, that everything kind of blends together and you can hear all the different pieces, like in uh, another song here. Hear the bass, melody, rhythm. So I was playing hammer-ons and pull-offs in there, so you can see that everything comes together. And the foundations for the right hand movement is really through the Travis picking that we went over uh, in the middle. All right, so to recap, you really wanna be playing all the notes, letting everything ring when you're playing fingerstyle guitar. Because we're a one-man band, we've only got six strings, so we wanna make them count, right? That's how it works. Good, so number one, you wanna work on your hammer-ons and pull-offs, and we had our little exercise here on the E string. Right, and then number two, we did the Travis picking, where we do the bass and the top, and then come in between. With our G and our C. And then finally we had holding the bass note. So you can do this with any song, go, go and find a nice fingerstyle song, something easy. Uh, I'll leave in the description the workbook that I used and that I still use for my students, a complete fingerstyle guide, and it's really helped me and it's really helped my students, so I highly recommend it. Here's one of the songs from there. You can really notice that holding each note really adds to the song. So. When you do try some of those fingerstyle songs, make sure you're holding all your notes. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if this is helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.